We get solid rumors on the iPhone success launch date and even a possible 5-inch iPhone. LG goes on a trademark spree, this time with devices that mention an edge. And Google just decided that an expensive Wi-Fi router is something you need. I'm Jaime Rivera, on my way to five at least five Wi-Fi routers for the price of one. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with T-Mobile and the Galaxy Note 5 or Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. If you want to skip the pre-order window, well, T-Mobile is already offering the phone as of today for orders and you can pick it up on Friday, which is uh, just another way to say that this is just a shorter pre-order, but yeah, the option's there. Other official news have Google's announcement of OnHub, a Wi-Fi router that will be a smarter Wi-Fi router for a crazy $200. If you remember, Google I.O. was all about Project Brillo and Weave and the Internet of Things, and, well, we've got this router which will switch bands in a smarter way and give you an Android application to control it, but then, other than that, it'll just be a router. And then again, you can get Apple's Airport Express for 100 bucks, which is still expensive. You can find much cheaper Wi-Fi routers, but hey, this will be available on August 31st. And let's just see how cool it is whenever we get it for review. Now let's talk about LG. The company is currently on a trademark spree for anything that has to do with Edge. So yeah, they trademarked the name G Edge and Dual Edge and Super Edge and just about everything that has to do with Edge, except for my name. But uh, in addition to that, uh, we also hear that the company is working on bringing us a high resolution smartwatch at 480 by 480 in resolution. We don't know exactly when to expect both things, be it an Edge or a better smartwatch, but we will keep you posted. And for those of you that are wondering exactly how well Apple Music is doing, EDIQ said 11 million users, but uh, that was weeks ago. We've now got a survey, 5,000 people, which is a small fraction, but still some uh, in the United States, ages 13 and up, and they claim that 48% of these users uh, are no longer using Apple Music. In addition to that, 61% of users have already killed the option for the service to auto-renew, so they are just giving it a try for the trial period, but not really wanting to use it. According to the service, uh, or the surveyors, it seems that uh, Spotify is so good that it was really difficult for Apple to make a dent. They barely took 30% of that market, even though other sources claim that it was more. But anyways, let's see what happens in September when the trial period is over. And finally, for the hot news of the day, this would be the second time that we hear dates for the iPhone 6S when it comes to its launch. We heard that Best Buy was gearing up for September 18th. Now we've got German carriers preparing for September 18th. Though, as it turns out, it seems that September 9th will be the announcement date. Then we should see pre-orders on September 11th at midnight. And then it seems that September 18th will be the time when you will get your phone, which is interesting. But even more interesting, we've got sources from Foxconn claiming that there is a 5-inch mid-tier iPhone in the mix, which is kind of late. There are tests conducted and things that confirm there are only two iPhones, but now it seems that there is a third one that is in the middle. But interesting, the 4.7-inch model and 5.5-inch model have the same specs. This one has the same processor and display, but a lesser camera. So this could be the iPhone 5C or whatever, but it leads me to the question of the day. When choosing the next iPhone, if you will, which model would you pick when it comes to screen size? In my case, I will stick to the 4.7 inch model because 5.5 inches on terrible bezels is not a good idea, but leave us a comment down below. What is your case? Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.